Today, we have a team of the best players 25 years old or younger versus a team of the best players 30 years old or older. The team of the younger players will be the Minnesota Vikings and their roster will include players who are 25 years old or younger at each position. As for the older players in the NFL, we will be using the New York Jets and their roster will include players who are 30 years old or older at each position. But to add a little twist to this video, we have to use at least one player from every NFL franchise on each team. Both teams will compete in a collection of challenges in mini games practice mode, franchise mode, and a Super Bowl matchup to decide the winner. Starting with the best wide receivers 25 years old or younger, we have Justin Jefferson. At just 24 years old, Justin Jefferson is already one of the best receivers in the NFL, and he will be wide receiver number one. Joining him on the depth chart will be his LSU teammate Jamar Chase, Amon Ross St. Brown, Speedy Jalen Waddle, Chris Olave, and lastly, 22-year-old rookie Puka Nakua. Talking off six NFL teams so far. Moving on to the running back position, we have plenty of choices to go with here. But I decided to bring in Josh Jacobs, Travis Etienne, and Jonathan Taylor, all under 25, but unfortunately we had to leave out Kenneth Walker and Brees Hall. The highest rated tight end, 25 years old or younger, is Kyle Pitts, and backing him up is Pat Fryermuth from the Steelers and Terry McBride from the Cardinals. Unfortunately, the only fullback we could go with is Xander Horvath, and he was a free agent. Before we get to the quarterback position, we have to get through our offensive line. At 24 years old, Tristan Wirfs will be our left tackle, Tyler Smith and Landon Dickerson at left guard, 24-year-old Creed Humphrey at center, Trey Smith at right guard, and lastly, we have Pine Sewell and Mike Onwenu at right tackle. Now, for the quarterback. We have three solid choices in Herbert, Tua, or Jalen Hurts. But since Justin Herbert is the highest rated quarterback, he'll be QB1 and Jalen Hurts will be his backup, knocking out a total of 18 teams so far. Moving on to our defense, Micah Parsons is the highest rated defensive player under the age of 25, and he'll be our starting right end. Joining him will be Aiden Hutchinson, and I would have loved to bring in Nick Bosa, but unfortunately he just turned 26 in October. Continuing with the youngest edge rushers, we have recently traded Chase Young, Greg Russo and rookie Will Anderson Jr. As for the defensive tackles, Quinton Williams and Dexter Lawrence will be joining the team and they are both top 10 defensive tackles this season. And just like that, we knocked off a few more NFL teams off the list. Continuing with the best linebackers 25 years old or younger, we have Nick Bolton and Tremaine Edmonds as our middle linebackers with Patrick Queen backing them up. Arguably one of the best outside linebackers in the NFL right now is Brian Burns and he is 87 overall at just 25 years old. Joining him will be JOK from the Cleveland Browns and at left outside linebacker Backer, we are adding Rashawn Gary and Jalen Phillips. With just four NFL teams unaccounted for, we are bringing in Patrick Sertain at cornerback number one from the Denver Broncos. Plenty of amazing young corners to fill the depth chart like Sauce Gardner, Trayvon Diggs, Tariq Woolen, and rookie Devin Witherspoon. It sure seems like the secondary is in great hands for the future. As for the safeties, we will be bringing in Anton Whitfield Jr. and Javon Holland at free safety, followed by Telenoa Hufunga and Cameron Curl at strong safety. And closing out the rest of this team, we have Evan McPherson at kicker and Ryan Stonehouse at punter, officially knocking out every NFL franchise. Starting with the best players 30 years old or older, we have Aaron Rodgers as QB number one. And although he might not play again this season, Rodgers is the oldest active QB in the NFL and Dak Prescott will back him up with Teddy Bridgewater coming in at QB3. And luckily for them, there are plenty of amazing wide receivers to choose from. Bringing in Cooper Cup at wide receiver number one at just 30 years old and joining him on the depth chart is Devontae Adams, Keenan Allen, DeAndre Hopkins, Mike Evans, and Adam Thielen, knocking off nine NFL teams already. Even though this team is older, they have plenty of great pieces on the offensive line, including Trent Williams and David Bakhtiari at left tackle, Joe Tooney and Joel Batonio holding it down at left guard, with Jason Kelsey, Ryan Kelly, and Ted Karras at center. As for the right side, 32-year-old Zach Martin and Brandon Scherf will be the right guards on this team, with Lane Johnson and Morgan Moses as the right tackle. As for the starting tight end, they have Travis Kelsey, who's a 99 overall, and backing him up is Darren Waller from the New York Giants, and Mercedes Lewis from the Bears, who is still playing at 39 years old. Lastly, for the backfield, Kyle Juszczyk will be fullback number one with Raheem Moser as a starting running back, and Cordero Patterson will back him up. Somehow knocking out 22 NFL teams with just the offense so far. Moving on to the defense, Aaron Donald is the highest rated defensive player at 32 years old, and he is still dominating the NFL in year number 10. Cameron Hayward and Demarcus Lawrence have been in the NFL a long time, and they will join him on the defensive line. 
along with Javon Hargrave and Michael Pierce at defensive tackle. For the linebackers, there are plenty of options, but the one player that stood out the most to me was Matthew Judon of the Patriots. He has been an integral part of that defense for so many years now. On the opposite side, we have Shaq Barrett from the Bucks and Khalil Mack. And at middle linebacker, we have Levante David and Bobby Wagner, both winning a Super Bowl and knocking out a few more NFL teams from the list. The secondary gets even better with Darius Slay as cornerback number one. Stephon Gilmer, Xavier Howard, Steven Nelson, and Antonio Hamilton will fill out the rest of the depth chart at corner. As for the safeties, Micah Hyde and Tyron Matthew are both over the age of 30, but they will be the free safeties on the roster with Harrison Smith and Kareem Jackson locking down the strong safety position. We have Justin Tucker and Trey's Way as a kicker and punter, and just like that, every NFL team is accounted for. Let's start off with a passing skeleton minigame as our first challenge to see which team can finish with the most points. Starting with a team of 30 year old or older, Roger starts off with a pass underneath to DeAndre Hopkins. A couple plays later, Rodgers tries to hit Cooper Cup in the end zone, but Edmonds knocks it away, resetting the multiplier. Rodgers really struggled on the next play, but bounced back with a strike to D-Hop in the end zone. He finally found his groove, and before you knew it, he already had the multiplier up to six. But just 15 seconds to go, Rodgers finds D-Hop in the end zone once again, and then follows it up with a bullet to Cooper Cup. With the multiplier up to 11, Rodgers throws a beam to Devontae Adams and finishing with a score of 15,344 points. Justin Herbert and the younger team are up next, and he hit Jamar Chase over the middle for a huge game. Unfortunately, he makes a bad pass and gets intercepted. Trying to rebound, he finds a Monra in the end zone, but they are still far behind. Doing all he can, Herbert is able to get the multiplier up to four with 11 seconds left. Somehow, he was able to find a Monra, St. Brown, in the end zone, but it wasn't enough, and they finished with 5,098 points. And the team of the older players win the first challenge of this competition. The next challenge is the punt return. The team of the players 25 years old or younger will start first and on their first attempt Jalen Waddle was able to pick up 10 yards. He then followed that up with 7 yards and then a solid gain of 10 for a total of 27 yards through 3 attempts. Two attempts left and this time Travis Etienne gives it a go but he only picks up 8 yards. On the last attempt Etienne gets tackled almost immediately for 7 yards bringing their total to 42 yards. Closer is up first for the team of 30 year old and older and he is able to find a lot of space falling forward for 20 yards. On his very next attempt, Moser was able to go straight to the middle for 10 yards, and then he follows up with another 10 yards for a total of 40 yards on just three attempts. This is not looking good for the younger team. Cooper Cup is up next, and he finds a way to pick up 14 yards, and then goes for 10 on his last attempt for a total of 64 yards, easily winning the punt return challenge and taking a two challenge lead. Next up is the goal line phase challenge where three receivers on both teams go one-on-one -on -one with the team's best corner. Rodgers and Cooper Cup are up first and somehow Patrick Sertain misses the swat leaving Cooper Cup to catch it for the touchdown. On the next play, Cup isn't able to hang on to it. Devonta Adams is next and he beats Sertain but Rodgers overthrows him. He is able to redeem himself by throwing a great pass to Adams who brings it in and fights for a touchdown. Last up is DeAndre Hopkins but this time Patrick Sertain jumps up and picks it off. On his last attempt, D-Hop could not get any separation and Sertain swats it away. They end up finishing with just two touchdowns. Herbert and Jefferson are up next and on their first attempt, Jefferson beats Slay and easily gets into the end zone. On his very next attempt, Jefferson does the same thing and scores another touchdown. Next up is Jamar Chase, but unfortunately he is unable to come down with the ball on his first attempt. And on his last attempt, Chase is able to come down with it, but he is short of the end zone. Amon Ra just needs one touchdown to help his team win this challenge, but Slay locks him down. On his last attempt, St. Brown beats Slay and toe taps for a touchdown. The 25 and under team end up winning the goal line phase challenge with three touchdowns. Next up, we have the franchise challenge. Whichever team makes it the furthest will win this challenge. And after simming the entire season, both teams are undefeated with a 17-0 record. The team who makes it the furthest in the playoffs will now win this challenge. Aaron Rodgers finished first in the NFL with 4,600 passing yards, 44 touchdowns, and just 10 interceptions, while Herbert finished the season with 4,000 passing yards, 29 touchdowns, and just 4 interceptions. Cooper Cup and Devontae Adams both finished with over 1,000 receiving yards for the team of the older players, but Jefferson, Chase, and Brown managed to have 1,000-yard receiving seasons for the team of 25 years and younger. Micah Parsons had himself a season with 23 and a half sacks with Donald not too far behind with 15 sacks. Simming right to the Super Bowl, let's see if any of the teams are still in the playoffs, and it looks like they are. It all comes down to this one game, 
after simming the Super Bowl, the winner is the team of younger players by a score of 35 to 21. The team of the 25 year old and younger end up winning the franchise challenge as they end up winning the Super Bowl. And now the competition is all tied up at two. The final challenge is a Super Bowl matchup where we have Justin Herbert leading the team of younger players going up against Aaron Rodgers and the rest of the older players. Travis Etienne is patient and finds a hole for 25 yards. A few plays later, Herbert got his team into scoring position but fails to convert on third down. And for some reason, they elect to fake a field goal and get stopped. Rodgers gets his first try and he is starting his team down the field. But the drive stalls out on the three yard line thanks to a fake field goal. Late in the second quarter, Herbert connects with Kyle Pitts for the first touchdown of the game. But Rodgers was not going away easily as he got his team into scoring range before finding Devontae Abs to tie the game right before halftime. The second half started with an amazing drive by the older team, and they were able to cap it off with a seven yard touchdown run by Raheem Mostert to take their first lead of the game. On the very next drive, Justin Herbert throws a costly interception to Darius Slay, and now Rodgers has a chance to extend the lead. And he does just that with a touchdown pass to Travis Kelsey, and now they have a 14 point lead. Luckily for the team of younger players, Herbert connected with Jamar Chase for a touchdown to cut the lead to seven. And a big interception by Tremaine Edmonds gives them a chance to tie the game. On third and short in the red zone, Herbert finds Justin Jefferson for the game tying touchdown. And now we are heading into overtime. And in overtime, both teams fail to score on their opening drive and the younger team end up kicking a game winning field goal to win the Super Bowl and more importantly, win the entire competition by a score of three challenges to the older teams too. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go and check out this one. YouTube thinks you'll like it, and so do I.